A Rebbe of mine, Rebbe Benjamin Luban, said over a beautiful story how one time when he was in yeshiva, he was sitting in the dining room eating lunch, and a fellow came in and said to everybody present, guys, I'm going to key food. If anybody needs anything, I'm happy to pick it up for them. Well, guys gave him their items. One guy wanted ketchup, one guy wanted some soda, and he went to the store and he picked up for everybody what they needed. Then the following week, the same thing happened again. He asked, anybody need anything? I'm going to the store. Once again, came back with several bags, gave out, etc. And this went on for several weeks until finally somebody noticed that when he came back with a whole bunch of bags, he ended up distributing everything that was in all of the bags to everybody else. They paid him back, but he handed out all these items and he didn't take anything back for himself to his own dorm room. And somebody asked him, said, you know, I noticed you didn't take anything for yourself. I thought you were going to the store anyway. What was going on? And he said, no, 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 no. He said, I wasn't going to the store anyway. I, I didn't need anything. He said, but I wanted to do chesed for other people. So I decided that a nice chesed to do is to offer people that I'm going to key food and I'll pick up, pick up their groceries for them. So that's what I do every single week on this particular day. I offer people to get them the groceries that they need, even though I don't need anything from there. That individual, just like Avram Avinu, had such a love, such a desire to do chesed. You know, Avram Avinu, right after he got his bris, Hashem made the world so hot. And Rashi explains the reason for that was because Hashem knew that he's going to be busy with guests. Avram Avinu loved to do chesed and Hashem wanted him to rest. Hashem didn't want him to be busy with guests. So Hashem made the world so hot so that this way there would be no guests that would come. But then Rashi tells us that Avram Avinu was mitzayir. He was upset. He was upset that there was nobody coming. So Hashem switched it back and Hashem made it that there were three malachim, the three angels that came and Avram did chesed and invited them in as we know the story goes. And you ever stop and wonder, what was Avram doing? Why was Avram upset? I mean, listen, I know you love to do chesed, but if there's nobody here to do chesed to, and the world is so hot and nobody's coming out, okay, so that's it. You're potter. You're exempt from doing chesed. There's nobody to do chesed to. Why was Avram so upset? And the altar of Sabodke answers so beautifully, because Avram had a very real perspective of what the world's all about. Avram looked around and he saw that this world is olam chesed yibaneh. Hashem built this world on one thing, on chesed. Everywhere he looked, there's just chesed. Hashem constantly doing chesed for every single person, even if there's no need. Hashem did chesed even before Adam HaRishon was created by setting up the entire world perfectly, even though there was no person, no human being there yet. And Avram realized that it's not about if there's a person here and he needs something and I got to go get it for him because he needs it. No, no, no. Avram understood that the same way that Hashem just loves to do chesed, even if there's no need, I just want to do, I just want to give for other people. Avram said, that's what I want to be like as well. I have a desire. I just want to give. And when Avram felt that there was nobody coming, there was no one to do chesed to, that caused him so much pain because his desire, I was, I just want to give. I just want to do for others. During this time period right now, let's try to think a little bit like Avram Avinu and the fellow who went to key food. What can I do for other people? How can I be more of a giver, even if I don't see a direct need in front of me that other people are lacking? But what can I do to create that need? What can I do to fill that void that's going on in other people's lives and increase my chesed and especially my avas chesed?